Cheers to the next adventure. Cheers. I let everybody know about our plans. Mm -hmm. Good morning everyone. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos and yeah I figured let's do a daily Dufresne's. It's been a while and uh, yeah just gonna do some stuff around the property this morning. Do have to vacuum the pool out so I'm gonna get that done. It's not that bad. There's a few little leaves in it. it hasn't been uh, crazy when uh, in January this big tree it blows a lot of leaves in but right now there's not a lot and uh, yeah, so gonna do that. And then also these umbrellas, we did have some coffee bags that were down holding the base of it, but those rotted out just from the, the weather, the sun, the rain. So yeah, nothing last year. Just got a brick on there right now, but I got some bolts to uh, drill a hole in there and bolt them down so they don't move. So gonna do that as well. Just show you guys a little time-lapse of me doing that. And uh, yeah, just kind of a day filled of stuff. Shayna's just uh, having her coffee right now. Then she's gonna jump in the rentals, finish getting them ready. Uh, we had people check out. Also got to put the fridge back in. It was time to defrost the fridge. So that's one thing we always keep everything up on the rentals to make sure that your stay here is as pleasurable as possible. It looks like it does in the pictures. If you do want to come stay in our amazing vacation rentals, just go to the website below, ccastasamara.com. It's got all the booking info there for you. And yeah, we'd love to be your host here in beautiful Samara and uh for a limited time <laughs> um so yeah we do have our friend who's a realtor coming over to appraise our property because we are putting it up for sale if you guys missed the live that's news to you uh, we are moving to asia and we decided yeah you know what let's let's put the property up for sale let's pass the torch on to possibly you to come down live your dream here live and work on the same property only 900 meters from the beach so yeah we're gonna wait and uh we're gonna do a video more of the reasons why if you guys missed the live video because that video is not up anymore and uh, obviously let you know how you can go about purchasing this we haven't decided if we're gonna go through the realtor or if we're just gonna try it uh, with YouTube and our realtor or our uh, our lawyer because she's really good and uh, yeah everything here is immaculate it is new so exciting times um, a lot of you that do watch and watch for Costa Rica videos specifically I know because our Nicaragua videos don't get as many views but yeah we uh, we've always planned on going around the world we thought this was gonna be home base but there's just been God's telling us to go and like to go for good so there's a lot of a lot of things and we'll explain that later on once we're in Asia and stuff like that what those those things were and why we feel that God's pushing us to go do more and more experience more and live live an adventure and that's the thing we've never branded our channel as just Costa Rica and we actually looked at moving to Asia before Costa Rica Costa Rica just made more sense again we had God pushing us to come to Costa Rica for reasons we met amazing people we have all of you that watch our videos we're able to build the channel but Costa Rica is very limited the channel will not grow very fast and we really want to just get out and film and that's that's our passion like we I love to film I love filming b-roll I love putting it to music as you guys know but again, we're gonna have all that in a separate video after this video as to why we're doing that. But uh, yeah, so uh, doing that, and uh, we're gonna head to El Ancla. Today's Thursday, so uh, it's Chief Rio Day. <laughs> as you guys know, we love Chief Rio. If you don't know what Chief Rio is, you're gonna see later in this video. And uh, yeah, it's rainy season. Again, this is why we tell you guys come visit in rainy season. You're gonna get a cheaper vacation. You're also gonna get most mornings are like this. Most days this year are like this. We have an El Nino going through, so every year is different, but we've had a lot drier year so far. And beautiful days. We had an amazing storm go through last night. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder. Everything's wet because of that. So if you, do, if you like storms, I mean, this is the time to come. Plus you can uh, do the whale watching. The whales are migrating past Costa Rica and also the Arabata, which is when thousands of turtles come to Ostianol. So this is the time of year. You want to come before end of August to uh, end of November if you want to see the, the big turtle egg laying thing, the Arabata. It's really, really cool. We have a video, I'm gonna have that linked below if you haven't seen it before. But yeah, so I'm gonna get started, gonna clean the pool quickly right now, and then also start drilling these holes, get the fridges back in, and then I'll have coffee. It's like just, it's 20 to seven right now, so it's early. And uh, enough rambling, more work. <laughs> I 
wish it was that fast to vacuum the pool <laughs> and have more time in the day. I love time lapses. Check out this beetle in here. It's huge. <laughs> Going to Asia. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy big beetle. It's another fairly sized, decent sized one in there as well. A dragonfly. We get all sorts of stuff in here. We get crabs in here all the time too. Little land crabs that look like toys. Don't forget to backwash your filter. All right, so job number one is done. It is quarter after seven and I'm already sweating. <laughs> That's one thing about rainy season, it's definitely more humid in the Guanacaste province, where if you go down to uh, like the Uvita area, it's humid all the time. But uh, yeah, so I gotta go grab the drill, grab the bolts, drill bit and all that stuff and then we'll get drilling holes. Done. Very sweaty, you know what that means. All right, so just had a shower. Feel much better now. <laughs> just gonna head to Super China because we need coffee. I usually get the Iona at the farmer's market, which is in two days, but we're out now. And Britt's got a special on right now where you get two bags for 9,000 colonies. Usually they're like 6,500 each. So yeah, we're gonna head to Super China now. So I should mention to you, we are gonna be filming a new grocery video this coming week, which will come out the following Sunday. We're gonna do that at Guana Verde. I do have some shots of the meat section here in Super China, but uh, yeah, we wanna support uh, uh, Guana Verde, so we're gonna shoot it there. And they have uh, a good mix of like local stuff as well as stuff that expats would wanna buy. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that video. Um, wrong, down the wrong aisle, I need to see where the coffee is. They only have it at the front, so I have to get it up there. So we actually buy the milk on the shelf. The stuff in the fridge tends to go bad quick, so this stuff lasts longer, it's just milk. They always have a good selection of ramen here. Have you guys ever tried the two times spicy? <laughs> oh, they got a kimchi one now, I'm gonna get that. All right, look who else has done their chores <laughs> for the day. <laughs> My work is done for the day. It is time to go and sit and have a nice lunch at the beach. Yes, yeah, like I <laughs> we said. We deserve it. We've been working hard. <laughs> so Chief Riho, and yep. uh, yeah, we just got finished with Nick, the realtor, looking at our property. So he's got a price in mind and we're gonna list it 
Sorry. And, sorry. Oh, chihuahua sorry. time. There's chihuahuas here. Yeah, if you if you ever look into <laughs> pet chihuahuas and we're not come, here, come you come to come to Alanco. They always have chihuahuas here. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't have enough of our own chihuahuas at home yeah. already, but yeah. whenever I see other ones, I always get to Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Hola. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of times they have puppies that you can actually buy here too. I think most times. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Ankle biter. I was gonna say most uh, most times they have about 12 to 14 chihuahuas on this property. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're all coming out to say hi now. Hi. Hello. Hello there. These ones are friendly. Hi. Yeah, Camila looks like our Ollie, very similar. Just lighter color. A little lighter color. But uh, Betta and Michelle and Jackie and Jeff, they have puppies from here. Or they're not puppies anymore, but they got their puppies from here. So. <laughs> they're so, so playful. We love chihuahuas. That's the other mama. Oh, yeah? There must be puppies. She's, she's full of milk. So yeah, we're gonna gonna sit by the beach here and enjoy lunch. Yeah. Todo bien? Todo bien? Cheers to the next adventure. Cheers. I let everybody know about our plans. Yeah, we're very excited. Yeah, we are. We can't wait to like. Costa Rica has been great, and don't get us wrong. And we still love Costa Rica. It's always gonna feel like home we to just, us. We just love the adventure of going to new places and, and experience stuff and bringing you guys along and sharing what we experience and what you can experience. Yeah, we've never been scared yeah. of that kind of stuff. That's no. the thing, you know? So as yeah. much as in the beginning we thought Costa Rica and Samra specifically was going to be the end all be all, that just shows you that nothing in life ever is, you know? Yeah, exactly. You can think that and you can, you know, change your life and stuff like that. But you never know what's going to come your way or like what doors are going to open or what yeah. opportunities are going to come up and if you feel in your heart that that's what you need to do yeah um and not it's not for everybody right but if you feel like that's what you need to do and you're being led to do that then i think yeah. it's a great great thing to keep your your mind open that yeah, way yeah exactly like i said this is all of god's planning and timing and again we're gonna have a video on all the reasons why we're making this this move off, off also in the live we talked about it so if you guys already watched or were there for the live it's not for any bad reasons no. for sure no. like we have so many great things that have happened to us awesome here in costa rica and, stuff, and yeah. great memories and stuff like that it's not for for anything bad that's happened here no. that we're like ah, oh, we got to get out of costa rica so no. it's, it's all good reasons yeah. and for us personally yeah, it's not so. for everybody but for us personally again, and our kids yeah watch for that video it's we're gonna go more in depth on that but yeah, we're just gonna enjoy an awesome lunch here of Chief Rio. Gonna let you know what it's like. It's been a while since we've had it, so. Very, uh, very traditional Costa Rican because it was actually created in the capital city, San yeah. Jose, so. Yeah, I actually looked up, I wanted, really wanted to go to the bar it was created at, but apparently it's closed now, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if it's like just closed temporarily or if they're gonna reopen it. Hopefully they reopen it. We do have to go to San Jose in December. Maybe we'll go there if yeah, it's open. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be yeah. cool to go to the original place where it was actually actually created and such a good dish yeah. so good anybody coming to costa rica if you can get a chief rijo anywhere yeah. you gotta try it yeah. the casados and everything are great too but this is just a different yeah. version of a traditional costa rican dish that has a little bit of a different flair to it so yeah exactly. definitely worth a try yeah so yeah we're just gonna wait for our food again i'm gonna let you know how it is and uh every thursday and sunday they have it here at al Ancla, and it's one of the best in the area mm -hmm. so yeah can't wait. All right, our chief rijos have arrived. As you can see right now, it looks so good. And the bowl is like overflowing with with the uh, chicharron and the pico de gallo and the avocado, which I'm gonna give to Shayna. I don't like avocado just on its own. I like when it's mixed like an avocado toast or something. So some of you that have been watching our videos for a while have seen when we went and got Chief Riho in 2020 at Monkey's when it was like the only place you could get it. Also, we made it at uh, La Catrina. We got all the ingredients, went to Simpson's uh, Chicharron in uh, Nicoya and got it the uh, Chicharron there. So yeah, it's uh, pico de gallo, avocado, Chicharron with the, it's pork belly as well. So you got the meat as well as the crispiness, beans and rice, and it's just all mixed together. And then they give you tortillas to eat with it, to eat, use as a spoon. And uh, yeah, it's just so good. And we're not gonna need dinner tonight. Like this will be lunch and dinner, but definitely recommend if you're in Samra, come here on a Thursday or Sunday and get this. Pork is so good. Almost have to put it on the plate because it's so full. It just comes out anyway. Yeah, we just love this. It's so, so hearty and so healthy too. And very fresh, especially that people are out. But gonna enjoy this. We're gonna go out on the beach afterwards. 
show you how like there's nobody on the beach. This is a, such a good time to come. There's a few people surfing, but yeah, we'll see you on the beach after. So yeah, we just finished up lunch. Delicious as always. <laughs> so full. Yeah. So full. T tastes like a nap. Yeah, we don't need dinner. That's <laughs> no, for sure. That's that. Yeah, it's a nice thing. You just get one meal. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, nice being on the beach again. We haven't been out for a while. I've been busy doing other stuff. A lot of times we just go in the pool, and uh, yeah, there's like nobody out here. That's yeah, this is definitely the perfect time of year if you guys want to come and visit Costa Rica and pretty much have yeah. the beach all to yourself. <laughs> yeah. There's like nobody. Yeah, it's really nice. So quiet. A few surfers out, but not not even that many surfers. It is high tide right now, so it's no not rain. the best. Yeah, no rain, exactly. We are going to head to Carrillo later, which is over that way with the dogs and let them run around on the beach. But Sky has no fur, so we don't want her to get sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go a little bit later. We're going to have to put a little hot. doggy sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. I wish I wonder if they make that stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna wander a little bit further here, head back home, digest a little bit, get the boys, get the dogs, and then we'll we'll see you at Carrillo. You wanna go to the beach? Who wants to go to the beach? So this is Enzo's first time to the beach. This is the first time he's been on a video too. We, we got him in March. <laughs> Say hi Enzo. It's Sky's first time too. Yes. Yeah, Sky's never been to the beach either. My gimbal died so I can't do any uh, running shots with them. Yeah, this end of uh, Playa Carrillo is the best for dogs. There's no other dogs around usually. So uh, they can run around, you don't have to worry about stray dogs. Yeah, put it down. Come on Enzo. Enzo, this way. Come on, Enzo. Enzo. He's chasing birds. <laughs> Sky blends in because she's gray. <laughs> So that was fun bringing the dogs to the beach. They love it every time. Yeah, we have four very sandy chihuahuas to clean up <laughs> yeah. when we get home. So let's put them in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, because then I gotta, no. I gotta, I gotta vacuum, gotta vacuum it, it again. So, yeah, I already no. did that this morning. I want to do it again. But yeah, it's uh, it's funny that it's like 
10 minutes and they're just so tired because they're so small. But <laughs> Little yeah. legs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, fun, fun overall day. So yeah, the sun's about to set. We're going to head home. We actually have another consultation to do to help people move down to Costa Rica. Yeah, we might only be offering this service until December. So if it is something we can help you guys with, let us know sooner than later so we can schedule you in. Yeah, just email us at ccasasamara at gmail.com and we can give you the information on the consultation and then we can set up the date and time for that as well. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao. Baby, it ain't love.